Well, it's another day, so another Churro Q. And I've never seen this packaging before. It's called Churro Q Zenmai type. I looked up Zenmai, it just means spring. And so I think it's because it's powered by a spring motor. So it really makes no sense because I think all Churro Qs are powered by pretty much the same motors. I think it's really just a way for them to release this Lamborghini again. But it does say Q04, so they must add a series of these Zenmai types, probably of their most popular castings. I'm just looking for a date on this thing. No, don't see it on the box. Or do I? Well, there's so much text, but it's usually on the model itself, so let's get this guy open. Alright, well, it's in this bag. Alright, so this is an LP400, I believe. I might be wrong, but just uh, the fact that it doesn't have a rear wing makes me think that it's the first generation. Uh, Lamborghini, Countach. And then obviously the wheels are a bit off, but we'll deal with that in a second. Okay, let's see what uh, details were put into this model here. And also, how old is this thing? Oh, you know, it doesn't say how old it is. Usually there's like a date on the thing. And actually, the text is usually in this landscape port, not this portrait mode, so that's different. And also, this thing is different. I think these are meant for like roller wheels, so it can run on a track. But, but that's just what my guess. Alright, well anyways. So we've got some black paint in those the vent there. A bump here for the reflector, but no actual paint. These are so similar to Choro Q wheels, the standard 5 spokes, but they have lug nuts in them, so they're a little bit different. Interesting. Uh, the window here is a dark smoked plastic. You can see a little bit of gear right there. Some black paint here is nice. None there though. But there is some here. Some silver paint there. A little outline of a and a raised bump for the Lambo crest. Would have been great if there was gold in there as well. Uh, okay, molded details here in the bumper. These are fog lights. Uh, I don't know what these are to be honest with you. Okay. So the back, you got the red tail lights. Yeah, it does the LP400. And then uh, some black paint up there. So it seems to have more detail than a standard Choro Q, but not as much detail as today's Choro Q Zeros, which cost a lot of money. So it's in between. I guess I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's so funny. This this is such a weird looking sh shrink factor. It's really, really funny looking. That's why I collect these things. Okay, well, let me uh, get the screwdriver out here. And we're going to pop this open. Just try to swap out the wheels here. So here's the body. It's all smoked plastic and then they painted it. But why is there all this extra stuff in here? You know, it's weird. It's like dried on paint. It's really caked on there. It's possible this was used and someone screwed around with it, but I just don't know why they would have all that white paint. Luckily, the window is pretty smoked, so it was hard to even notice that when uh, this was on there. Alright, so what is going on with this? There's an extra screw here, probably to hold this on, or, or not. I'm going to have to undo this. I want to remove this entire drivetrain because I used putty, some putty to put on the new stuff. So here's a production code, 2015, January 2015 is what that's saying. So this actually isn't that old. Interesting, okay. Alright, uh, I guess I might as well just put this back on so I don't lose it. Maybe someday in the future I might want to return it back to stock. You never know. It's weird though. I don't understand why they need that reinforcement. Alrighty. No. Oh. <coughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. I gotta put in one of these motors here. These motor cases of mine. Yeah, so I'm stupid.
Okay. Yeah, again, this is reinforcing holding the motor down. But this is a pretty wide piece of plastic in the first place, so it, it's a weird mystery why they would waste the resource just to do that. All right, well. Now this tooth here is always problematic. Trying to, it's like the paint or something makes it too big to actually fit in this groove easily. different type of construction than than other Cherokees that I've seen. Alright. But we can get around it. Okay, so these are the 3D wheels I did. I uh, printed them, painted them silver, and then I added a little black paint wash and the rectangles. So I think it looks Pretty good. Squeeze these in here. sunken underneath his bodywork. I'm curious if I take some of this putty out. Will I printed them so if people want to buy these they could actually put them on the actual motor and run it. But uh, uh, I do like the look of that. It's more like the real car when the tire is sunken in under the front part of the fender. But I don't even well I guess that works. Let's try a little less bit of this uh, sticky tack stuff. Well, no, it's not going to work. It's, I'm putting this on the, the table, but unfortunately the base is too tall, right? So it's if I move the tire all the way up, it's going to be floating above the ground. So that experiment didn't work. You live and you learn. Or really, I just live, because I don't seem to learn too much. Okay, so... Well, I guess that's as good as I'm going to get it. So let's go take a look at a couple other cars here. So I have it next to two Kyoshos of the LP400. One is just a regular blister pack, this orange one. And then this came from a cartoon series edition. Uh, I can't remember what the series was though, so sorry. I did a video on it somewhere in my history. They're both the same casting, I believe. Everything's identical, it's just that the black one has a number 12 printed on it. Oh, it does. Now I added silver paint, I think, to those exhaust tips on the black one. Okay, well, that's the comparison to normal looking uh, 164s. Let's compare it to a couple of the Choro Qs. I'm just going to build up my Lambo collection. So I think the first one I got was this Miura. It's one of the Cho Q Zeros. Then I got the Aventador. And lastly, I got the Countach uh, 5000 Quattroval Volle. So I guess actually that's going to next to this one. Obviously they're all pretty much the same size, they're all made by Choro Q, so... Okay.
Well, it's nice to see that, uh, you know, there's a new Choro Q Lambo. I didn't even know about this casting a couple of weeks ago. I just found it. You know, it, Choro Q's been making these models for over four decades, so they must have thousands of different uh, castings out there, so it's kind of fun to, to learn about the new ones. And if it's an exotic car, you, you know I'm going to have to get it, so here it is. Alright guys, well, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time around.